Hi guys, I'm Neil from Spark Angels and I'm super excited today to show you my unboxing of the Amazon Studio, or the Echo Studio, or however you want to call it, slightly cheaper equivalent of the Apple HomePod. I pre-ordered it about six weeks ago. Today is the release date, today is the date that it drops, so I'm ready for the unboxing. I'm just going to do an unboxing video for you and the functionality. I'll be able to show you how much more that it can do. So I'm using the world's bluntest scissors. Probably could have been better if I'd used a blunt guinea pig to do this, but they're all in use. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this video, just a quick one. Please hit the like button on this video. It has an enormous effect with all the YouTube algorithms to promote my videos to a larger audience. So one quick click from you, just on the like, the thumbs up, can go an awful long way. Thank you. Over to the video. A box in a box, pretty, pretty Amazon-esque. Let's have a look at what we've got. It's pretty heavy, actually. Um, I would probably estimate that to be a good, a good couple of, couple of bags of sugar, maybe a couple of kilos. The Amazon Echo Studio. Nice box. I like the colour. Um, yes, so it is really heavy really heavy so we've got this really lovely blue box a little bit synonymous with as my echo at home i've got the tall one from a, a little while ago came a uh, similar similar style box you've got the the big speaker itself there on display the big sort of bass groove as they call it all the way through uh, and that allows the bass sound to hopefully come out you know down and, and then out either side uh, i think it's now I've never seen this. Uh, all I did was I got a I got a pop up, I got an email. I think about it six weeks ago, through from my Amazon account, and there was a couple of screenshots or pictures of how it would look and the kind of makeup of the speakers. That's what attracted me to it because I, I do like my standard Echo, the tall arm. Um, it's quite good sound quality, not mind blowing, but it's pretty darn good. And I thought ah, instantly I like uh, uh, I like this sort of thing, the HomePod. Uh, it's something that I haven't actually purchased as yet. Probably trying to scrape together and justify that much money because I do have a Sonos or two. Um, so yeah, and actually more and more, I've been using the uh, the Echo to control all of my home tech now. And we've got Hue lights and Nest thermostats. So I've got a mix of everything and not really tied down to one manufacturer. Um, in fact, we got a lot of that stuff when no real there was no real tie in between the manufacturers. Now you've got um, the likes of Nest and Google are all kind of in bed with each other and um, not Hue, but uh, what do they call it, Hive. They started out with a thermostat, I believe, and then they started doing the lights and all sorts of things like that. So we kind of got bits and bobs and then started integrating it into the Alexa and it just comes naturally now. So you walk in the house and go, Alexa, turn the lights on. Alexa, switch the heating off or up or on, uh, you know. So I've kind of, what I've found is myself and my family have kind of gravitated more towards the the Alexa side of things the Amazon side of things so I thought actually it'd be quite a good thing to get so here we go so immersive you uh, immerse yourself in studio quality music uh, which is quite looking forward to I just can't get over the weight I, I actually think that is um, I think that's heavier than a home pod but I'll have to get the, I'll have to check out the measurements next uh, the next dimension in audio five speakers in one device deliver expansive spatial sound with powerful bass dynamic mid-range and crispy high frequencies nice hear music like never before uh, okay dolby atmos uh, processing elevates your music with space clarity and depth quite like the sound of that adapts to any room um, automatically sensor the acoustics uh, of your space continuously fine-tuning playback to deliver optimal sound no matter where it's placed uh, built-in smart home hub set up your smart home without a separate hub okay that's quite cool i wonder how it will integrate with my other echoes probably seamlessly three two inch mid-range speakers uh one inch tweeter 5.25 inch woofer that's pretty darn big dolby atmos that's quite cool 3.5 millimeter jack okay so you can plug external audio straight in if they haven't got bluetooth so that's quite handy um it's got bluetooth zigbee smart home hub which is something i've not actually come across so i think that's, that's something that uh I'll probably be checking out far field voice control. Now, actually, I've noticed that the uh, my other Echo has far field, and it's incredible how far away that can actually hear you. And what I love seeing, 
and because it's in kind of a corner of a room, is when you speak, no matter where you are, that the blue ring goes round and then the light blue section actually positions where the sound is coming from. And I, I'll never tire of seeing that because I think that's wicked. Microphone on and off button. I do that, they, they like their bags. Immediately I get that, the best smell in the world. That's just amazing. Um, reminds me of, I don't know, that's like a, a strangely um, welcoming smell. <sighs> the smell I'm getting, fresh cardboard, fresh cut cardboard um, with a hint of, hint of glue. <laughs> you can glue sniff in. No, it's, a, it's got a really nice smell to it and it's just a new smell, I think. And that, again, that, that just makes me smile. But I do like how they, how they have bags to pull these out. So inside there, you've got uh, not quite as kind of, not quite as amazingly boxed as Apple products and like everything's in its place and tight and doesn't move. Already you can see there it's kind of flapping around and stuff, but you know, Celebi, you've got the power cord, UK power cord there, um, important information, which is probably something that you never need to read. So, oh no, hello, we need the little hello menu. Reusable shopping bag with the big Alexa smile on there. Okay, let's wheel that down. This is so much bigger than I thought it would be. And I like that. Especially when it comes to speakers. So off comes the bag. So you've got Alexa there, and immediately you see the base, all the official gum thunder there, with rubber feet. Yeah, so it actually stops it from slipping. Um, but yeah, I imagine if that was quite hard, you'd have it resonating through any sort of hard surface that you place it on. You, you guys can see the front there. Looks pretty similar to the back, if you spin it round. And, um, but then you've got the power cable, micro USB, and the uh, auxiliary optical input, which I don't know anything about. And you can see the five inch sub underneath there, the sort of the, the foam around the outside. You have, what, four buttons. So I imagine you've got volume, you've got the, I imagine that's the mute button. And then above there, you've got what I imagine is the tweeter as well and tiny little holes which tend to be, I guess, the microphones. I mean, you've got those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the whole directional microphone gubbins. It's really heavy. Um, I'm really quite surprised how weighty that is. Pleasantly surprised uh, because that tends to mean quality in speakers. It's all covered in this really nice kind of speakery material, a bit like the HomePod. I think it's bigger than the HomePod. I will have to check. But it's got this sort of really tightly wrapped feel to it, which is quite good. I do like that. Okay, so what do we have button-wise? On the microphone on and off there, volume up, uh, volume down, volume up, and the action button. So I'm assuming that is used to summon Alexa, How should you be near it. Uh, Echo Studio will automatically tune its speakers based on where it's placed in the room. Now, my Sonos did that when I first bought it a good few years ago, um, Play 3 or whatever it's called, and then I never used it again, but it seemed to work quite well. Nice blue ring right around the outside there. The orange bit, interesting. quite immersive. Hello. Ooh. To continue, download the Alexa app. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I can't get over how sort of nice and chunky it actually looks and feels. Looks... Just a moment while I tune your echo to match the acoustics of this room. Your echo is ready. Nice. That was, that was very cute. Uh, 189 um, pounds and 200 dollars. It's actually, yeah, really impressed, really impressed. So let's see what we can do. Alexa, I love you. My 
son loves that, absolutely loves that. And already started playing something uh, by Goldie, which is copyright, uh, copyrighted, so I can't actually put it on here. But immediately I was like, wow, that, that sounds impressive. I've certainly so put it through its paces. impressive. So I'm Neil at Spark Angels, and that was my unboxing of the Amazon Studio, and uh, I must admit I'm super impressed with, with everything, to be honest. Definitely worth, I mean, just under £200, just under $200. The weight is what really has caught me, uh, caught me out and caught me by surprise in a pleasant way. The bass is, um, I'm, for my listening as well, I, I'd really like to be able to turn the bass down and not have to constantly wind it up and not get enough. So I'd rather have too much than too little, especially when you're in a larger area or there's a bit of background noise where the bass just gets lost. And I hate that in cars as well. So I'm pretty pleased with, with uh, I'm pretty pleased with the bass aspect. And it actually, although it's a bit artificial and I quite like to get this into the open office or at home and uh, test it out a little bit more and I'll come back to you guys and post some videos on how I'm getting on with it. So like and subscribe to the channel to, uh, to follow my progress. But yeah, without a doubt, I actually am really impressed at their uh, their offering and can't wait to put this through its paces. I also know that reading in between the lines, this can double as the kind of stereo or the surround sound for your TV. I guess that's probably, uh, you know, I don't know if I can hook that up to my Sky Q box at home, but I'll definitely have a look to try that. I'm Neil at Spark Angels. Thanks for watching my unboxing. Check out some more videos to come. So I'm Neil at Spark Angels and thanks very much Amazon for the free hat. Ah, oh, I'm a nice duck.